Hello. I am the infectious disease doctor. Oh. I didn't call you. Don't you have something else to do? I think I smelled C. diff. I need to know for sure. This patient does not have C. diff. He is getting ready for surgery. I am an infectious disease expert. I know the smell of C. diff. Either he has it. Or it might be you who has it. Listen. This case is none of your business. Why don't you go back to your office and take care of your own odor problem? You smell like the microbiology lab. The microbiology lab has a pleasant smell. The seat of smell actually seems stronger closer to you. Tell me about your recent bowel movement history. I will not tell you about my bowel movement history. That is my business. Unless you have C. diff, then it is my business. Why are you crouching over like that holding your abdomen? I did too many sit-ups today. My abdominals are sore. Okay, then you won't mind if I block the bathroom. Please do not do that, Mr. Infectious Disease Doctor. Then you do have C. diff. Admit it. I do not know if I have C. diff. I only know that I am having a bowel movement about every 30 seconds. But we have been talking for more than 30 seconds. That is why I keep asking you to leave. Have you been on antibiotics recently? Yes, I just finished Cipro for a viral infection. Do you mind if I take a sample to the lab? Oh, doctor. This is so embarrassing. It is all part of an average day for an infectious disease doctor. I enjoy the smell of C. diff. I am looking forward to walking to the lab with your sample. Do I need a container or something? No. Just place a little sample on my pen. I will take care of the rest. How about if we just keep this as a secret between you and me? Sure. It could just be a secret between you and me. The patient who has not yet received anesthesia and the one million C. diff spores that are now floating around in the operating room. Good. I like that plan. That was an attempted at sarcasm. You and your C. diff need to go home.